going to make a, a thin fish with sardines. This is washed, uh, cleaned and washed well. And you can see uh, right in through the stomach, all that black is cleanly removed. This is very important to be hygienic, right? That's why I'm, I'm wearing the gloves because I don't want any cross contamination. So as these days, you know, we need to be very, very careful. So this is the uh, sardines that I have cleaned and washed well. This is uh, 250 grams of tomato, which I'm going to make a puree out of it. So I will put it in the blender and uh, just put it here. Made with sardines, as you can see here, this, these are the sardines which I cleaned out well especially see that the inside stomach is uh, absolutely clean without that black here in between which is not good for the stomach so this is half kg of sardines which i have cleaned and washed well and kept then i have made uh, a tomato uh, puree uh, so, this is the tomato puree I have made with uh, 250 grams of uh, tomato. So, I will now I will now put it in this container here. tomato puree is I have put in this container which I would put in the in the pressure cooker for steaming you can put it straight away in the cooker but the fish will just all become into one pulp so it's better you put it in a container and keep it uh, steaming so okay so this is the tomato puree that I have put in now this is uh, chopped garlic which I would be putting in about uh, one and a half tablespoon of garlic okay that's a little bit yeah that's the garlic now it's very important that whatever masalas you're going to use should be kept to one brand so for me i'm i'm using the mtr uh, uh, mtr masalas uh, so i am putting now uh, chili powder chili powder you can put according to how spicy you need it so for me i like it spicy so I'm just putting two and three, three teaspoons of chili powder and uh, jeera powder, one teaspoon. And 
and turmeric powder half a teaspoon then then you add salt salt also according to your taste so I would say for half a kg I would use uh, one and quarter teaspoon right so so this is this is the masala I'm going to be using so always see that you don't use your bare hands as we know the pandemic of today that's going on uh, so I prefer that you know we need to be hygiene about well, especially on food so that's why I make sure that and I advise you all to see that when you're not doing cooking to see that your hair is covered so no hair will fall in the food and see that your hand is covered with a good gloves so this I am I will be I'm mashing and uh, yeah, I'm mixing it well so all the masalas will uh, yeah so this is yeah. so as you can see here uh, this is the masala okay so now I will be putting uh, a pinch of no you can use uh, lemon juice but today I don't have the lemon juice but you can use vinegar it's a white vinegar just a, maybe a, quarter, a half teaspoon or one teaspoon too you can put so I have put one teaspoon and just mix it really well as we have the powders there so the powders should all mix well with the chopped garlic and the tomato puree okay now I will be putting I will be putting the yeah, I will be putting the fish in yeah, let's put the fish in here and let it be fully coated that's it be fully coated so yes. so I'm and now as you can see as you can see here I'm I'm just uh, mixing the masala well and see that everything is the fish is all covered with the masala here here as you get yes this is it so it's uh, covered now and uh, this I will keep it just for a few seconds by the time I put the cooker on the stove I will uh, put it up for steaming okay so this is it now I will light the stove and uh, see that it is kept on sim oh, oh, in the beginning you can just hire it till the water gets hot enough till it, once it's hot enough yeah so 
once it is hot enough you can you can just place this into yeah the center of the cooker always see that you have spacing of the water yeah the water should come to this this level as I'm showing you here it should come up to this level if not the water will as it's boiling will get into the fish so just keep it at this level so here it is and uh, I will keep it on a uh, high flame now till the steam comes out. Yeah. Okay. So it's now slowly starting to steam. Now this will take approximately. 15 to 20 minutes okay now the tin uh, fish is uh, steam I'm switching off so I will make sure that We always see that we like to maintain it well. Of course, sometimes things would happen, like my mixie went off. Of course, it's many, many years old. So, but we need to keep it. Um, we need to maintain these things. And for the cooker, my tip I would suggest you all see always see that the steam is first removed completely. Then you remove the the stopper off before you open the cover because the gasket doesn't last for long if you just remove the cooker with the stopper on so that is one tip uh, which I have learned through the years so now uh, now it's over as uh, you can see you can see here uh, you can see here it's, it's still boiling with the steam now it's ready so This is uh, the fish now, which is uh, the tin fish that is ready now. And I will just show you. Yeah. 